Real, true education, not fake news. Good morning. It's the 27th day of June 2021, and it's been very busy on the farm. So I didn't get making many, many videos, and I have other things going on. Anyway, you're very welcome back. And I do, a lot of people tell me who meet me that they like my videos, and they're designed to be something a bit different, and more or less a sort of a chat with a bit of intelligence built into it where possible, <laughs> a bit of fun. But anyway, um, what I want to talk to you this time is, you know that we all have to use money of some kind. We have to have a, an exchange system of some kind. Um, if I want to exchange, if I have two of these uh, staplers for my uh, t uh, pin and my leaflets of my uh, writing and type paper together for a mouth organ <laughs> you see and you have the mouth organ and I have this we can swap but then this might cost 34 euros whereas this here costs I think it was 4 euros 50 so how do you swap you, you'd want to give me something else and because of that we need some medium of exchange and how all that come about I have dealt with it a little, little bit before but I've been searching for a good video, a good video, to, to explain how that works. And we see that in our modern world, it seems to be that we can't go on or make progress without continually ripping up the Earth's resources. And even people who are so-called green uh, are complicit in tearing tearing down the Amazon rainforest and producing palm oil and destroying the homes of the chimpanzee and the orangutan and all the other primates and many other species. And this was uh, dealt with in the in the video in the documentary by Michael Moore and Jeff Gibb of Planet of the Humans. And it raises these fundamental questions that very often come up when you're talking to people whom you meet at various occasions or meet at funerals or meet at whatever. And I met a man uh, who, who checked out my videos at a, at a removal of a funeral recently, and he made the point, you know, if you think that the election of the president or the government in America has nothing to do with the decisions that are made, you're big, big time mistaken. Other, other people make those decisions. It is a very good uh, comment, and uh, essentially that no matter who gets elected, the thing, everything seems to be the same. So I've been searching for a good video. For ages and ages and I think I've found something which comes very close to my ideal explaining uh, how this medium of exchange works now we'll all agree and I think it's without a doubt I mean if you have a bank holding money and deciding who gets loans and who doesn't they have enormous enormous power and they're unlikely to exercise that Sorry, to exercise that power without um, a, bit, a bit of mischief. Who wouldn't? I mean, everyone tries some bit of mischief, so there has to be a bit of mischief in there and a, and a, a, bit, a bit of uh, ripping us off somewhere. But, but we still don't understand the basic concept. I've given an example before in earlier videos about an island, like about the size of the county Loud. It would have to have some, if there was a king in charge with, with 5,000 people on it, he'd have to have some sort of money system. And the way this works, it involves counting and mathematics. It also involves credit and debt and all of that. So this video, I think, is about the one for you to watch. And it's called Money as Debt. Now, by the way, this is video 41. Uh, I, I didn't say that at the start, but I'm not going to go back now. It's video 41 in my series, Real True Education, Not Fake News. And the video is a, a documentary, and here's his name, Paul Grignan. Grignan, or Grignan, I don't know, I think it's a French word. So that N, the, set, the first N is a Y, I think, Paul Grignan. It doesn't matter, he's a Canadian fella. And um, he put a lot of effort into it. And it's an animated cartoon documentary where he, he draws out pictures of bankers and people. And he does it very good. So if I wanted to do that for you, I, I'd have to go to that same trouble. Why bother when you have an excellent one there? I'm not looking for attention or glory. I just want to inform 
the people and so and my viewers. So um it's a revised edition two thousand and nine and it's on YouTube. So you just go into YouTube and you go to um uh, the Paul Paul Grignum here he is Money is Dead and you get it up there and you get the two thousand and nine uh, video because I think he upgraded a little bit uh, in 2009. It, I don't see much difference in it myself, uh, but it, it's there anyway. And it's 14 seven minutes long, so you're not going to watch this in the flick of a pen. And one of the reasons I find with many of the topics I deal with, including her ridiculous energy problem policy, is that it takes too many words to deal with it. And even even judges in some court cases are demanding that you confine your, your pleadings to a certain number of words. And the world is quite complicated. Well, you don't want it too big either. Uh, you need to have enough words to get it, to deal with it and to make it understandable. And, you know, universities often spend four years teaching people the basics of economics and money. And I did a course in 1999, 2002 and three, and nothing in this video conflicts with what I've said. This is right. I think this video is the most up-to-date version of it. And remember, banks are regulated by government and we have votes. But they have managed it in such a way that our votes don't really count. The rules are already made. The other thing is that a response to our capitalist system, which I broadly support, it seems to work fairly good in places like Switzerland, and Iceland too a bit, is that... Um, we should have communism, North Korea job. We should move in and use everything for the benefits of the people. The problem there is it hasn't worked too well anywhere either. So we're kind of caught between, on one hand, uh, this corrupt, mischievous capitalism with bankers ripping us off, and on the other hand, we're sort of caught, on the other hand, with, we don't want Castro's communism. We don't want that sort of stuff, where every time the supreme leader gets a headache, 50 people have to be slaughtered on the town square. Uh, this this is the this is the is the is the reality. Uh, so, uh, there was a fellow called Paul. I mentioned before. He he was uh, Porik Porik Breslin, an Irishman, way back in the forties. Went to Russia. Thought he was going to teach them how to be socialists, and he ended up dying in the gulag. He couldn't get out of there. So we don't want that either. We don't want the other. But the question is, there's something very wrong with our present system, and we can't understand a lot of us how or not in an economic collapse at the moment and we can't understand how these wind turbines are continuing to make losses all the time and this video kind of puts it in perspective it kind of it kind of gives a, a, an overview of the situation and that's why i highly recommend it now as it runs you'll see writing coming up and please pause it and read your writing read the thing real clear i mean this is for uh, this stuff is for a saturday night or a sunday night or something not for doing it on, on the hoof, but you could watch a bit of it going in on the, on, the, on the train to work and all of that. So, as I say, it's 49 minutes. Now, where does he go? We find it here. Yeah, he, here's it here now, folks. I'll put out the music. He, he, here's it, it is here. And um, so, just to show you what it's like. So, as we as we go ahead here, I'll just get my, 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 my thing here. So, so here's a clip here, the money system today, right? I'm using the remote here to, to pause. So here's here, that's what you're looking for. And you see up there, uh, revised, revised 2009 full movie. That's it, folks. Now, I won't play any more of it, because I risk maybe being caught out with copyright or something. But I don't think there's anything wrong with me recommending a movie and then we can chat about it in, in other videos what you see so sit out and do watch this video or put it up on the television and watch it and it's less than an hour in the end of the day I mean it's only an hour and um, it explains how the system works people say why don't we all buy gold well the problem with gold is there's not enough of it in the world to act as a currency it can be debased, which, in other words, you can mix it with other things like copper and, and other stuff like that, and uh, or even even um, steel, and who knows what's in the coin, and you can fight it off and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it has held its value for 5,000 years, 
But again, you could never have a decision of governments of the world to turn over to gold. The other thing is, it's the same with silver to some degree. The other thing is, there's a, an important little view in it of two swimming pools. One with the amount of money they have, and one with the amount of principal plus interest. Essentially, the amount of money is there for the principal, but when you have to pay interest, there's not enough. As a result, they have to keep lending. So in a way, the money system is a sort of Ponzi scheme, in, 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 in a way itself, a sort of a Ponzi scheme, when you put in the interest. Now, how all that pans out, we won't go into it here, because I risk saying something that might be proven wrong. But please do look at the video. Please do look at it the, when you get time. Money as Debt, right? And uh, the 2009 edition by Paul Grignan, G-R-I-G-N-O-N. And it's definitely, probably, quite accurate. And uh, with that in mind, folks, then, on this uh, Sunday, uh, the 27th of June 2021, the time is marching on, mind you, we leave you and we come back with something else and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Thank you very much. We'll see you back. Okay.